over the last decade, we have continued to see uh, improvements in cardiovascular mortality. 84-year-old Ben Davis knows firsthand about those improvements. After a triple bypass in 2000, he recently had a heart valve replaced here at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center in Ontario, Canada. All of this uh, repair work has helped me out a lot. Dr. Harendra Wujisundra from Sunnybrook and co-authors studied those diagnosed with coronary heart disease in the Ontario province from 1994 to 2005 and found deaths decreased by 35 percent. Are you having any pain this morning? No. No. Just under 50 percent of that overall mortality was associated with behavioral changes and risk factors, specifically the biggest players being high blood pressure and high cholesterol and that just over 40% was from improvements in the uptake of treatments. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, and shows an increased use of medications like beta blockers during the study period. In 1994, they in fact weren't used very much, about 20% of patients, while in 2005, upwards of 60 to 70% of patients were on these, and that represented uh, a huge reduction in mortality. Researchers also found a 6% rise in overall cardiovascular deaths from diabetes and 2% from obesity. The concern, of course, is if that trend continues, then these gains that we've, uh, that we've seen over the last decade may be lost. For Ben, whose father died from heart disease, he is planning to live and enjoy a full life with his family. We have grandchildren, and there's another one on the way now so uh, it's it's not nice to be around for all of that my dad missed a lot of that Catherine Dolph the JAMA report